DeFi is short for decentralized finance, an umbrella term for Ethereum and blockchain applications, geared toward disrupting financial intermediaries. DeFi has been one of the primary drivers of the cryptocurrency resurgence in 2020, and continues to be on a tier through much of 2021. Still, it remains one of the industry's most opaque areas to the outside world. So, what is DeFi and how does it work? Why has it grown so much this year and has become so influential on the cryptocurrency market in general? The term decentralized finance DeFi, covers financial services carried out on a blockchain. DeFi are financial services with no central authority. It involves taking traditional elements of the financial system and replacing the middleman with a smart contract. We can also describe it as the merger between traditional banking services with blockchain technology and layman's terms. So, for DeFi to work, it needs a decentralized infrastructure to run on. This is where the Ethereum blockchain comes into play. The Ethereum blockchain is a DeFi platform for decentralized applications. Most DeFi protocols operate on the Ethereum blockchain, although some are now also hosted other competing blockchains, such as the Solana network, to enjoy greater speed and scalability. DeFi platforms allow people to lend or borrow funds from others, speculate on price movements on a range of assets using derivatives, trade cryptocurrencies, insure against risks, and earn interest in savings like accounts. DeFi uses a layered architecture and highly composable building blocks. DeFi's performance in 2020 has put the entire crypto market on notice. With assets locked increasing in value, even some traditional crypto companies are looking to cash in on the hype. According to DeFi Llama, the total value locked in DeFi now exceeds $165 billion. This is a 770% rise since January this year, and more than 19,000% increase since the start of 2020. Unfortunately, DeFi's boom has attracted a bevy of malicious actors. Recent data from crypto analytics firm Cifertrace reported that total losses from DeFi theft so far in 2020 is $100 million, and it's rising. In the second half of 2020 alone, 50% of all cryptocurrency thefts were from DeFi protocols. Centralized exchange KuCoin also had about $19 million liquidated by thieves via decentralized exchanges. Cifertrace believes that DeFi's growth made it a prime target for cyber criminals, most of whom understood some of its technical limitations and could take advantage of them. The DeFi industry faces the same growing pains as the crypto space as a whole. It's still in its infancy with plenty of room for growth. But, despite the benefits and returns, it's still a risky endeavor for the average investor. That's all for this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon. That way you won't miss a single upload. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.